It's not unusual to walk into Zingerman's Roadhouse in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and see the CEO and co-founder, Ari Weinzweig, graciously pouring water into the glasses and preparing tables for new guests at the popular restaurant. It's not unusual because Ari Weinzweig's dedication to service flavors everything that happens at any of Zingerman's eight businesses. Their approach to management, called servant leadership, is a major component in their unique business model. It turns the typical chain of command on its head and requires service by owners to the managers and by managers to the staff, and everyone serves the customer. It seems to be working. Zingerman's has experienced 10% compounded growth annually since they opened in 1982. They've managed this feat without franchising or expanding outside of Ann Arbor. Instead, the community of businesses has developed over the years. Zingerman's Delicatessen was the original business in 1982. Relentless pursuit of the finest tasting traditional foods led to creating the Bakehouse, then Mail Order, Zing Train, the Creamery, the Roadhouse, and finally Zingerman's Coffee. To service these connected but independent businesses, Zing Train was created for training and consulting, and Zingerman Service Network, a.k.a. Zingnet, was created to provide support services. Zingerman Service Network, or Zingnet, is our central administrative staff. They do HR, they do IT, they do marketing and graphics, uh, they do some uh, finance leadership and, and some accounting work. That's about the 20-person staff. Though each of the businesses in Zingerman's community of businesses is independently owned, the Zing Train and Zing Net businesses service all of the producing businesses with the Zingerman's experience. These two businesses maintain Zingerman's standard of excellence for food, service, and culture throughout their community of businesses. When any of the businesses uses the training and or consulting services of Zing Train, compensation is direct to Zing Train product that they sell is consulting and training expertise so they will do something you might hire an outside consulting firm or a training group to do. Zingtrain also provides training and consulting to businesses outside the Zingerman's community of businesses. For Zingnet services however each business is assessed a fee based on a small percentage of their sales revenues from outside customers and a smaller percentage of sales revenue from inside customers. This simple method of support cost allocation is very effective at Zingerman's, but each business uses Zingnet services to a different degree, so this method can never be truly equitable. An example of that is when we opened the Roadhouse. Um, until they actually open, they aren't generating revenue and they aren't paying fees. Central services are funded for us by a percentage of sales that comes in from each business. Uh, I think it's safe to say in my experience of having managed central staff that uh, the people in the frontline businesses will always feel like they're paying too much and that the people in the central staff will always feel like they're underfunded and they're, I've just realized they're both correct and I stopped you know, trying to expect a perfect solution. It's, it's somewhat always going to be in conflict or pulling one direction against the other. But if we do a good job of visioning, then we bring people together and that's what we try to do. They are in fact paying for an organization that is going to help them get to the vision of having a, a, uh, a more businesses down the road. So it's, it's kind of like an investment, if you will. It isn't going to be exactly fair. Uh, today it might not be I'm getting as much as I paid for. Tomorrow I might get more. You have to kind of trust that process. First of all, Zingnet's stated purpose is to provide service and not to make money. The goal is to just break even. Consequently, even though some of the businesses might not use Zingnet services as much as other businesses, the Zingnet cost to these businesses is lower than they would pay to separately hire someone to provide the service internally or outsource it to another company. Sometimes the business will have their own marketing person in-house and we coordinate efforts with them. A lot of the, the bigger businesses might have their own accountant, um, but again, the, we have expertise and help for, for those people in those businesses and can amplify whatever efforts they can make. For example, Zingnet has two payroll employees who handle payroll for all eight companies. If each company handled its own payroll, or if each company outsourced payroll, its expense would be higher than it is with Zingnet. 
This principle holds true for each of the Zingnet services. Any functions that each business can do less expensively themselves, they do. The four biggest businesses, for example, have their own internal accounting operations. The other three smaller businesses pay an accounting fee to Zingnet for handling their accounting. While this is a simple method of allocating support costs, most often the savings to the businesses justify the possible unfairness that could become a bone of contention at times. The Zingnet Steering Committee addresses questions of support and service with representatives from each business. With the traditional method, support costs are assigned through a single budgeted charging rate or through a multiple budgeted charging rate. The single budgeted charging rate is computed by dividing total expected service department cost by expected usage of all producing departments. The multiple budgeted charging rate is computed by assigning fixed costs to producing departments in proportion to their planned peak usage. Zingnet uses a single budgeted charging rate. If Zingnet were to use a multiple budgeted charging rate, the benefits of allocating cost more fairly would be outweighed by the cost of the extra accounting required. With traditional methods, support costs are assigned through the direct, sequential, or reciprocal method. Zingnet uses the direct method for simplicity's sake, since all of the support activities for the other seven businesses are contained within one business, Zingnet. Zingerman's internal education, communication, and training within the eight businesses are part of the overall dedication to service. Zingerman's has the same level of dedication to education and communication for their customers. When a new customer sees Ari Weinzweig pouring water into the glasses of arriving diners at the Roadhouse, they're experiencing the essence of the Zingerman's experience. They're also witnessing the essence of what makes the simple Zingnet formula for support cost allocation work for Zingerman's community of businesses. Service and trust built on personal relationships, personal communication, and a well-crafted allocation of funds.